What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. And this video, as you know by the title, it's my movie poster collection. This was a video idea from, I just want to make sure I got his name right, Kid Red 1998 Thank you so much for the video idea. So I'm guessing he wants to see what all movie posters I got. And let me know what you got. If you make a video of your movie poster collection, let me know because I really do love movie posters. And I never realized how much I had until he commented that. I'm like, oh man, I actually do got quite a bit. Some may be smaller than the others. I can't remember exactly what size like this one or this one is. So I'll just tell you where I got them from and what movie they are, but I'm pretty sure you'll know the movie by looking at it. But let's go ahead and start. This Dazed and Confused one came with the Criterion Blu-ray edition. I'm not sure if it comes with the DVD edition, but don't know the size, but that's what came with the, whoa, I don't want to hit it too hard and it end up falling, but that Dazed and Confused came with the Criterion edition. This Halloween poster right here, uh, is it limited? Actually, yes it is. I did not know that this whole time. It's number 610 out of 800. This came from Fright Rags, and that's a company you'll want to check out. I don't remember the size, but this whole time I didn't know that, that was a limited poster. So let's go ahead and move to the left. These next two came from Shout Factory when you pre-ordered their movies. I'm pretty sure this one, Black Christmas, is still available probably because that wasn't like a big time seller compared to the Halloween 2 and 3. 2 did not come with a poster. It came with a little nurse that I have in my Michael's, Michael Myers display over there. And... I'm pretty sure that sold out the Halloween 3 one and it's off center just a little bit. I'm trying to fix it here, but I left a little gap right there because I plan on getting more posters to fill there. I'm just, I'm not sure with what posters yet. Okay, this next one right here is the one that I got from MoviePosters.com. I love this Friday the 13th poster and I just got a couple pictures down on the bottom of my friend Todd, Ashley, and one of Tori. And this one's a 27 by 40. I can't remember exactly the size, but it's a typical movie poster size. I'm pretty sure it's 24 by, sorry, 27 by 40. I think that's what that is. And this one's just an 11 by 14. I got this off of Etsy. I did an unboxing of it if you wanted to see more detail of it. It's just like a newspaper poster to make it look like it's from Haddonfield. And these three on the top came from a place called House of Mysterious Secrets, and I'm pretty sure they're 11 by 14s, and they got a lot to choose from. I love that old style posters that it looks like, and they also come with, they're not folded, but they come with like these little crease looking marks to make it look like even older, which I absolutely love. This one did not, which is fine with me. Not a big fan of crease marks, but that adds to it, believe it or not. And I got one more poster on the wall right there. Actually, no, I got two over there, one right here, and I got a couple I'll show you right here. I haven't got poster frames for these yet, but this is an original poster my friend gave me, a Dr. Giggles one. I can't wait to get a frame for it. I just don't know where I'm going to put it. And I got one of the ones where if you get your tickets online from like AMC or what is it, Fandango or something like that, you get a free movie poster with shipping. I got the Ready Player One. I gotta put this downstairs with the other movie posters I get from getting movie tickets and all that. I'll show you. Almost done in here. We'll go downstairs and we'll check out more down there. Now this poster came from Gutter Garbs and I think it's a 24 by 36, which now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure it's a 24 by 36 and I'm a huge fan of Halloween 3. Love that movie. And I got two more over here. Now these two came from Shout Factory if you pre-ordered the Steel Bucks, which I got over there. The Fog, absolutely love that movie, and They Live. These were an odd ball size. I can't remember, but it was such an awkward size to where you can't find a frame unless if you get a custom. And I don't want to spend about like $200 on a custom frame of something that's not my art. But hey, it does a job. I'm sorry about the reflection. And I have two more I forgot about in my closet. Okay, the two that were in my closet, I have a Why So Serious Dark Knight poster. It used to be over there inside the Halloween 3 poster, but I just took it down. It, that Halloween 3 one was just more vibrant and it matched the theme over there because I have a lot of horror movie posters rather than actions and I got one comedy up there. But that, hey, that's my favorite movie of all time is Days of the Fuse. And the other one, I just don't have no place to put this either because I don't care to put it up. Maybe if I get a house to where I can do a real home cinema in a basement and get a projection screen, maybe I'll get a poster frame for this. And this is the Bill and Ted's most excellent collection where if you pre-ordered, like, I didn't pre-order it. I got it when it was a killer sale when you got the action figure, the movie, the poster, all that good stuff. So 
let me take you halfway downstairs and show you what's on my wall. Okay, sorry for the awkward angle, but here halfway down the stairs, I have these ones that they used to give out for free before you had to start getting them online and pay for the shipping. These ones are 11 by 14s right here. This one I think is just like, <clears throat> sorry about that, like an eight by 10, but I have the 10 Cloverfield Lane, Batman v Superman, Tomb Raider, that was the one I had to pay for shipping. You didn't get that one for free. Ant-Man, Terminator, Jurassic World, and Avengers Infinity War. Okay, now that we're in the living room, I have an awkward living room that I turned into like a home cinema. So I'll start here and work my way around. First up, I have the Hocus Pocus. I came from MoviePosters.com. That's a 24 by 36. Okay, working my way over here, this is an original movie poster. That means it's not a reprint. It's the only one I have down here that's not a reprint. This is Everybody Wants Some. All these up against this wall right here is 20, 27 by 40, that same size of movie, movie poster. And they all came from MoviePosters.com. So, Everybody Wants Some, Pulp Fiction, and Halloween. Now over here I have Goodfellas, Days to Confused, and Scream. Now keep in mind, when you get into like home theaters, home cinemas, it's never finished. You're always under construction. So one of the main things I'm trying to get rid of is these curtains because I'm tired of this being blocked. And that's not the only reason. I always have these like little gaps right here and it causes a massive reflection. So sorry about that on the posters, but I'm still under construction for this and maybe a little bit of upgrades here and there for the speakers, but enough of that. That's a different video. Let's continue on. I got one more poster on the wall right here, one right there near the stairs, and I have two that's not framed yet, which I'll show you. All right, this one right here is a 24 by 36. This is Jaws, as you can see, but keep in mind, this is the area right here I'm thinking about putting one movie poster where I'm gonna take the cinema sign, Jaws down, and put that somewhere else for now because the poster that I got, you'll see after I show you this one on the wall right here, and the one I got near the stairs is Rocky. So, well, that's 24 by 36. And that does it for all the posters that's movie related I have in frames down here. Let me show you the two that I have that are original movie posters, not from America. I think they're from the UK. I think because my aunt served in the military and she took these from the 80s and brought them home. She had them all this time and realized like, hey, he's in the movie, so I'll give them to him, which I can't thank her enough for because one of them I have to get it framed. Keep in mind, it's going right here. Those are, this one right here is an awkward one to hold. It's a 30 by 40, and as I said, original movie posters came from the UK, and this one is Sudden Impact, and I'm sorry if I'm not unfolding it right, because like I said, it's kind of awkward to hold when they're trying to roll back up. This is not the one I'm framing just yet. I have to get a custom frame for this, because 30 by 40 is an awkward size to go to Michael's and get a frame, because that's, Typically where I like to buy my frames is Michael's, but I forgot to mention that. All the ones up along the wall there came from Walmart. It does the job. I'm not going to go custom on that because that would be too much money. Let me show you the one I'm talking about I have to get a custom frame for. This one right here. Oh my gosh, I love this poster. Oh, I can't thank her enough for this poster. Christine. This is the one right here I'm going to go take to... Michael someday, or I might make my own. They're not that hard to make, but I might not put any plastic or glass in front of it because I won't need that because I wouldn't make the picture frame heavy if I make it on my own. But even if I take it to Michael's, Joann's, and get a custom frame, that would look nice. But, and that'll do it for all the movie posters I have. So once again, I can't thank you guys enough for watching this video and let me know in the comments below if you have a video showing off your movie posters. I would like to see them or you could just let me know in the comments below what kinds of you got and what is your favorite movie poster. For me, oh, I got so many good ones, but I would probably have to pick the Christine one because not only is it such a good freaking movie, got some good muscle car on it, but it's an original, it's not a reprint. That's what I love most. I wish I can get Halloween as an original movie poster, but those are expensive. I will not put that much money out for a poster right now when I'm still trying to save up for my car and other things in life. So let me know in the comments below what toward the questions I asked you. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll check you later.